sometimes when you're working on an old bike, you'll find uh, bearings in a retainer cage like this, uh, often in like the bottom bracket or in the headset. Uh, usually, I'll, I'll go ahead and replace the bearings. I'll try to find the whole uh, retainer cage bearing set at my local bike shop, but sometimes they may not have the exact size that I, you know, I need for the bike, or the, the local bike shop might act, not actually sell it. They might sell the individual bearings. What you might want to do, I mean, there's some different options, but I prefer to go ahead and install the bearings in the retainer cage like this. So what you can do is remove these bearings from this retainer cage by very carefully with a screwdriver is prying up these little fingers. There's like little fingers that come down and hold the bearings in. So just very carefully just pry the little finger up just enough to where you can go ahead and let the bearing out. Pop it out. Only pry the fingers up as much as you need to get the bearings out. Now that you have all the bearings out of the cage, take them to your local bike shop. They can measure them and then you can buy brand new bearings that you can install into the old cage. With the bearings out of the retainer cage, go ahead and use a toothbrush and some citrus degreaser to go ahead and clean all the old grease and dirt out of the retainer cage. With the cage clean and some brand new uh, bearings from the local bike shop, go ahead and just take the bearings, slide them into the little notches, And then with a pair of needle nose pliers, just very gently push the little fingers down just a little bit. You don't want them to press down against the uh, bearings to pinch them, but you want them just to be pressed down just enough so that the bearings won't fall out. So there you go, just add a little bit of grease, install it, and you're done.